Alright, hello everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Kayla Barkley and I'm going to be showing you guys how to remember the unit circle um, and be able to memorize it within hopefully five minutes. So I apologize for the shakiness. I cannot find a good placement for this camera so I gotta hold it myself. And also to get a clear picture of what the hell I'm doing. So, one thing you can note about the unit circle is that there are patterns. And when I had to remember this within five minutes before a quiz, um, the first thing I noticed is that the points for each area of course, draw your lines first to help you out. And okay, first thing I noticed for the X and Y uh, points for each angle. Okay, it first goes out like goes square root of three over 2 and 1 half. Note the square root of 3. Okay, so go 3, 2, 1. Just count down. Simple. Just go 3, 2, 1. Same thing goes for the side. Go Three, two, one, and then move my sword out a little bit. Go three, two, one, and then three, two, one. Um, one thing to notice is that it goes, uh, it counts down from Three, two, one, going like this. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. Alright. And it's easy to remember that everything goes over two. So just go two, two. And then re always remember that. Uh, square root of 3 over 2 is always going to be next to 1 half. So if you know that this, okay, square root of 3 over 2 is um, the uh, x uh, coordinate for this angle. And then just remember that this angle is the opposite. Uh, the, the things are flipped from this angle. And then this one, it's simple because it's just square root of 2 over 2, both times, double. And the same thing uh, is uh, going to be going on on this side, except for the x's, since they're going this way, they're going to be negative. So remember to put a negative in front of everything. And then the y's are going to be positive, of course. So Square root of 3 over 2 is always next to 1 half. So square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, I mean, yeah, 2. And I uh, 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Just remember that the x is negative and the y is positive. One thing I do is I go like this. I write it down by the lines. I go positive x, positive y. Negative x, positive y. And then negative x, negative y. And then plus x, negative y. And that will kind of help um, try to remember these. And um, then these ones down here since they're in this quadrant, you know, negative x, negative y, so that means negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 half, 
negative square root of 2 over 2 over negative square root of 2 over 2, negative 1 half over negative square root 3 over 2. And uh, there's a pattern. Just always remember the pattern. There's 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Just remember what's positive and negative. You'll be kosher. And then, uh, since the y's are negative in this quadrant, negative 3 over 2, and then negative square root 2 over 2, and then negative 1 over 2. Alright, so hopefully y'all understood me. Because a lot of people I've showed this to already um, are kind of surprised, but I have a little hard time understanding it at first. Alright, the next patterns I've seen are the um, radian uh, angles in radians. Everything, just like how it goes, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, and 3, 2, 1 this way. The same idea is for the numbers 6. Four, three, and uh, let's do this real quickly. And six, four, three, three, four, six. All right. Now you can see that pattern. And then it's easy to remember everything in this quadrant because it's just simply pi. And then how I remember this quadrant is that you minus 1 from the bottom to get the top number. So say 3 minus 1 is 2. And don't forget to add the pi. 4 minus 1 is 3 pi. And then 6 minus 1 is 5 pi. And then to remember everything in this quadrant, you add 1 to the top to get the top, I mean. You add 1 to the bottom to get the top. Okay, 6 plus 1 is 7 pi. 4 plus 1 is 5 pi. And then 3 plus 1 is 4 pi. Um, just to let you know, this ain't like the real like mathematics between pi's and real numbers and stuff like that. This is just an easy way to remember these quadrants. And then with these numbers, they're, they act, they are different. So you just got to remember 5, 7, 11. One thing I say to myself, uh, five days a week I go to 7 11 or something like that. Whatever you prefer. Five days a week I have 7 2 11s. Whatever, whatever makes you remember. Alright. So. The next pattern I see are the degrees, and right here, this angle always starts at 30, and then you add 15 to get pi over 4, and then you add 15 again to get pi over 3. Same thing with these sides. You start with 120, then you add 15, you get 135, and then you add 15, and you get 150 and so on and so forth. And 340, And then of course the um remember the easy points, the degrees. Okay. This is always three sixty or zero, depending on where you start. And then this is, of course, 90. This is, of course, 180 degrees. And this one is, uh, I believe, 290. Yeah. No. 270, I think. 
don't know, 270, and then, uh, yeah, it's 270. Okay, so between each of these points, you add 15, only between these three. So, right here, right here, so on and so forth, these points, to these ones. To remember how to get uh, the degrees from here to here, just add 30. And um, from here to here, add 30, here to here, 30. Here to here, 30. Here to here, 30. Here to here, 30. And here to here, 30. So just remember that, okay, for them to get from 0 degrees to this one, you add 30. And then once you have 30, add 15, add 15, add 30. Add 30, add 15, add 15, add 15, add 30. Add 30, add 15, add 15, add 15, add 30. At 30, at 15, at, at 15, at 30. So. Alright. So, hopefully, y'all can see this clearly. Hopefully, I didn't shake too much. And hopefully, I made sense. Um, if you guys have any questions, I, I guess leave comments or something. Um, this is my first video so I really I really hope to help people and I want to show everybody, I want to show students all around that are in college that it's really a lot more simple than it seems. And I mean uh, teachers sometimes they'll make you draw two circles and then remember the two unit, unit circles, and it's just a hassle. Just remember one whole one. And just remember the patterns between everything. And you'll be able to get it figured out in, I don't know, the, the fastest time I drew a unit circle for a quiz was probably about two and a half to three minutes. So, good luck to you all, and have a good day.